Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you um, how to turn in your work. If you use Brush Ninja to draw and create a GIF for me, I just wanted to show you the steps real quick on how to save your work and turn it into me. I had a lot of kiddos with questions. All right, so remember to make a GIF, you're making a bunch of pictures and then moving them really fast. So you're gonna make each picture, right? So I made this picture. All right, and then I click this button here to duplicate it, and then I added the orange, right? I duplicated it again, and then added the yellow, right? And then I just kept clicking this button to add more pictures to make each step of my GIF, all right? And then that way, when I click play, it shows my whole GIF, right? It's going, that's my whole GIF, all right? If you wanna change the speed, you can use this button to change the speed. All right, there's all sorts of different buttons you can use. If you need to erase something, you click this button, this is undo. This other arrow is redo. So if you undo too much and you need to put something back, you can redo it there, all right? Now I'm all done, right? I finished my GIF, all right? I'm not adding any more frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click export. Now I know there's a save button. So far, I have not seen the save button actually work. Okay, so we're not gonna use it. We're gonna use export, all right? Then you're gonna name your GIF. I recommend naming it after yourself, all right? So you could put your name and then make up another name for it, like, you know, so I'm gonna name it and then I'm gonna click this big blue button that says export as animated GIF. It's gonna process. Then I'm gonna click download animated GIF, all right? I wanna download it to my computer. All right, now on your Chromebooks, it will look different. There will be a pop-up here. With the picture, you'll, you're gonna click show in folder and then save it to your computer, okay? And then from there, you will be able to um, uh, turn it into me on the Google Classroom. And you turn it into me, you turn in a GIF or a video with the same steps for turning in a, a, a picture, all right? So if you can't remember how to do that, I've already made another video on how to turn in your work on Google Classroom, go watch it. And instead of looking for a picture file, you'll look for a GIF file, alrighty? Um, so that is how you save your work and turn it in from Brush Ninja, all right? So if you need any help, uh, remember, you need to email me before three o'clock on Fridays. By three o'clock on Friday, I'm not checking my email anymore. So if you need help, you gotta ask before then. Okay, don't wait till last minute, otherwise I will not be able to help you in time. All right, I think that's everything you need to know. I hope you have a lot of fun. Feel free to make as many as you want. This website is super awesome. All right, so show me what you got.